What's up guys, this is Marin from Team Deathnaw. We're here with another deck profile of Goku. The new Goku, so you already know. So, let's hit this deck right now. So we have Goku. This is Goku from the draft box. His effect is you take one life, he gets double strike once per turn. He awakens at four. Same thing on the other side. And once he attacks, you get to draw a card. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing card. Okay, so <clears throat> we run in four Sinsu Beans, which you know allows us to untap, get plus 5,000. Four Negates, everybody should know what's the Negates. Uh, you tap a blue, you negate, and you get to untap an energy. We run in two of the red Negates. You know, uh, we get to negate and stand up somebody. For example, you have him on the field, you want to kind of protect him. So you can put, put, put him on active mode. Um, we're running this card, which, since you have a blue leader, you combo with him. Plus, five, plus 5k, and you get to untap an energy. Boma, which is great to search out for the Whis. Great four for... Um, Ramping on your energies, which is very great. We have the boost to draw. We have the boost attack Piccolo. Gets plus 10, 10, 10k in draw card. We have objection, just three. I guess three is a good number since we're running the Whis. So three is, is, a, is, a, is a key number. Also great for, for ramping. We're running the ability unleashed ultimate Gohan. He's great because um, early early game, you get to add pressure. You attack the leader or whoever. You can either give him, you can either draw a card or give him double strike. You know, just playing mind games with your with your opponent, which is great. Um, we're running Hercule. Hercule, you know, you you play him. You check top seven. You get any Majin Buu that's red, keyword red, and you put it to your hand. So, we're going to the, to the boss cards of this deck. Awakening Evil Majin Buu. Awakening Evil Majin Buu is a five drop, two red. When you play him, you put a card from your hand underneath, and you search your deck for any Majin Buu and evolve him. Red. Remember, it needs to be red. Except himself. So, we're running the seven drop. This is the key component to evolve him on top of him. His effect is choose a Gohan adolescent from underneath and he acquires his skill. So, for example, if you have him in your hand, you put him underneath. With his skill, you put him underneath, and you'll just copy his ability. His ability will be copied onto him. Whether you can draw or give him double strike. Or if you have a Gohan, him or this ultimate Gohan, you can just evolve by just playing three red and three anything. Basically, a total of six energy. And you can do that. That's some um, shenanigans you can play around with that. The deck is very good, very fast. It's a guaranteed win by turn three, no later than turn four. Um, what I've came up with this trick is that, let's say you're at turn five, let's say you're at turn six. You play him so you won't tap out. You have him on, on in hand or him. Let's say for example you have him. You see that your opponent has several rested battle cards. So you put him underneath from your hand and you search your deck and you call him. So, he's 30k. You're going to swing to one of your opponent battle cards. Okay, whatever happens. Let's say the battle card, uh, he couldn't combo it out. And he restands. So now your opponent just took two damage. Now, um, when you first attack with him, let's say you combo with this card. And uh, and since you was at six energy, the one card you left on tap is a red is a red card. 
So you you combo with him and you on and you place another red energy on active mode. Or if you want to do it with Sensu Bean. But with Sensu Bean it's kinda of uncomfortable, so your best bet is going with him. Unless if you have more cards on tap, let's say a blue and a red, so you can play Sensu Bean, you're gonna tap another red. So then like, like, like I was saying, your first attack, you attack. A battle card, you stand. Then you tap two energy and you evolve. You put a card underneath and you get another one from the deck. And you just call on top. Now you have two more attacks. So you just you just keep attacking. And if you gave him a sensor beam, it's still gonna stay there. So you swing it for 35. So this is a guaranteed three three attacks to their face, which is very, very hard to come back from. The deck is very fast, very aggressive. It's a very good deck. Um, I played against the new Vegeta leader, which, you know, taking crits is not easy because you don't get to have cards in your hand. But, you know, you can always work around that. So, um, yeah, just try out the deck. It's a very fun deck. People says, they're saying that Majin Buu is a dead card. It's not a dead card. It's actually a, a great card to play. Very, very, very aggressive, especially with the Gohans. So, um, yeah, guys, this is the deck. This is Team Death Note. Peace out. Later, my amigos.